bones, the, the legs, the hair, and so on. But how this picture in three dimensions can be understand, understood from an AI perspective? Well, here you have the uniform manifold application projection is the first algorithm, and we have the second algorithm, the tier stochastic neighbor embedding. Don't watch all the names. There are plenty of names. But at the end, we have different ways using AI where AI is able to understand what's happening in, in three dimensions with different attributes. Okay, so it's very easy to understand how AI can form three dimensions in, in just two dimensions. And how to apply that in, in pharma. Well, there are a lot of different options, but I'd like to introduce the, this example because I'm working with this research team, I'm working with linear approaches, ETA. Oh. Ah, thank you, sir. Linear approach, no linear approach, statistical neighbor embedding, the manifold approximation, and the linear discriminant analysis. Depending on which is the reality that you are, want to work with, you need to decide which is the best algorithm to do it. Okay? So no free lunch. We cannot use the same algorithm for everything. Linear is just an approach, it's not a reality. You have plenty of options, but they are helping you a lot 